Minecraft is set in medieval times, and it has been confirmed several times by the developers. Yes, Minecraft is medieval. That is why the vast majority of the structures are made of wood and stone, and if we investigate the construction materials of the Middle Ages, we observe that they were stone, wood, and mud, exactly as we see it in the villages. But have you ever wondered what would happen if Minecraft was set in modern times? Is it possible? Well, did you know that Notch, the creator of Minecraft, loves modern things? In fact, apparently, he has always liked modern things much more than medieval things. But why? It is enough to analyze his thesis, especially in the real house of Notch, that cost him more than 70 million dollars. Yes, you know, the same money that all of us spend when we go for breath. Just look at this beast, it's one of the most epic modern houses I've ever seen, and it couldn't be without a car lift. And what the hell is that? A flamethrower? But if Notch Ultra Mother House doesn't win you over Let's take a look at his Twitter. Notch is constantly posting games that he himself thinks are all set in an extremely futuristic modern items, and he also likes to play games with industrial machines. And not only that, because one of the first games that Notch programmed was this game here, Bunny Press. You had to help bunnies before they were crushed by the industrial machine. And it's also quite interesting how Notch had already made modern industrial machines. So with all this mentioned, there was a possibility that Minecraft could also be modern, but what would it be like? For this, we will go to our interdimensional time machine. Let's go! We have arrived, a modern Minecraft. We cut down some wood, and we make the peak of what? This doesn't look like the wooden pickaxe, because the first thing we would notice in this universe is that Minecraft tools will change too much. Pickaxes still exist today, but normal people use hammers, so we would use hammers instead of pickaxes to manipulate the stone in our houses. But we would not only have hammers, we would obviously have modern tools. This would make the mining system very different, since modern mining is done with mega drills, and in Minecraft we could also get one, making mining much easier. But if we are talking about a modern Minecraft, we must consider something very important. Nowadays, humans no longer mine, that most of the work is done by mega mining machines capable of drilling to the depths of the earth, and this would also reach Minecraft. We could build great drilling machines, which will do all the work of a survival world, revolutionizing the world's redstone machines. And speaking of the redstone, this reddish dust will no longer exist, because redstone contains uranium. That is to say, it is radioactive, and through this radioactive substance, we can active mechanisms. But in a modern age, the redstone will simply become beam cables, exactly as we have it in real life. Without a doubt, Minecraft is changing a lot, but one of the most important things in a survival world are the methods of transportation. Horses would obviously still work, northerns know this very well. But Minecraft boats are extremely old, they are just floating pieces of good with oars. In this modern age, they were much faster and more modern, like motorboats, like the boats with your daddy took you when you were little. But obviously, it wouldn't just be made of wood. At this time, we would be able to manipulate metal things, making more advanced boats, being obviously much more resistant. And with modern designs, swords wouldn't exist either. Since they are medieval weapons, have you seen two policemen use swords? Obviously not. That's why swords will be replaced by knives. Bows and crossbows are also very medieval. So guns would exist here. Firearms are literally the only thing used in modern times. It would be interesting to defend your houses by means of firemen. Tell me down here, would you like it? Although unfortunately, things like the enchantment table wouldn't exist, since the magic of the enchantment table is a justification for creating better things in a medieval times. Armor upgrades would have to make use in different metals. For example, there are metals that are more resistant than others. Depending on the metal that we use, it will be more resistant. The potions would also be quite rare, and instead of magic potions, they will possibly some kind of medicine. But what about the Litras? 
The Litras are a very medieval system, they are just simple wings placed on our backs. In a modern age, this would be much more advanced, and in no way would we use fireworks to propel ourselves. We will very surely be able to make small planes, made of materials such as iron, and those fly through the skies. Although something more similar to the Litras would be jetpacks, which allow us to descend or ascend automatically. However, there is something important about this type of mechanism, and it is the fuel. This is where things get extremely complicated. The machines, the planes, the planes, the yacht, and also the jetpacks take up too much energy. And it's not only a question of obtaining beastly amounts of coal. In fact, coal would possibly not exist, since all these machines require oil. This means that lava lakes in the mines would possibly not exist, since all these spaces would be replaced by gasoline, and this wouldn't be too easy to find, and it would also be very difficult to refine this material, since this type of material would have to go through a lot of machines to get the gasoline, having to go into crafting, more machines, more crafting machines, and more machines, and all this to be able to make modern things work. Minecraft would be extremely difficult to learn. Just imagine what you will need to make a car. For wheels, headlights, windows, doors, steering wheels, seats, engines, and many other things. The amount of crafting is simply abnormal. Years of playing could go by, and you still won't be able to learn absolutely everything. There wouldn't be a single day that you would have to open Wikipedia to find information on how to make all these objects. That's why medieval works so well. Everything is much easier to understand, and that gives us a lot of freedom to do what we want. And for a modern Minecraft to really work, there are two ways. Make all the villagers extremely advanced, turning into civilization full of factories and tech houses. Yes, as we could get a lot of the hard crafting of the machines with the villagers, it would make the game less of a pain to learn. But it will still lose its fun, so the most likely thing is that Minecraft will become a super multiplayer, being something like in real life. No person is capable of learning everything. For example, a car mechanic wouldn't be able to operate on a sick person. A doctor wouldn't know how to see a dress. Thanks to the fact that the people have different jobs in a real life, that's how we can survive. The device you are using to watch this video is made by engineers. But that the engineers couldn't be vets. Our brain is not capable of learning everything in this life. And even if you try, it wouldn't be entirely efficient either. You would need years and years of experience to do many things. It is not only necessary to study, it is also important to practice. And no human being could practice all the professions in the world. And that's why in real life we divide the work. And in a modern Minecraft, it would have to be done like this. Some players would experiment in mining, others could learn about all armor and tools and maybe you experience transport. This modern Minecraft will only be really enjoyable if we divide the task, because not all of us would like to go to Wikipedia to learn all those thousands and thousands of crafts. If you ask me, I prefer Medieval Minecraft, a game that allows me to be free and not to have to be glued to the crafting table all day. Subscribe and leave your like, and click here to see a video suggested by the YouTube algorithm.